Hey everyone, so you're gonna be using a polyester shirt. I use the Cricut brand. Um, you can use any shirt that is over 60% polyester. And then you're gonna take it out of the package or whatever. And you'll need to lint roll your shirt to remove any lint, whatever, because that can um, mess with your design. So you just want to lint roll it. Do the front and the back. So for this shirt, um, you're going to print out a digital paper. I'm going with the sunshines and rainbows. I got this off of Design Space, and then I'm gonna use this Rise and Shine in the center of the shirt as the decal. I also got that off of Design Space. I have links to them all in um, the description. I am doing these for my kids, so I just printed out an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, and I use a sub 125 paper, which you can get on Amazon. I use Cosmos ink, and then I have an Epson printer that I converted. And then to press my shirt, I'm gonna use my Easy Press. For butcher paper, I have this big roll that I got on Amazon. Okay. So since I'm using my Easy Press, I'm going to need my Easy Press mat. This will protect my desk from any, um, damage or whatever and then you're gonna put butcher paper over the surface of whatever you're using so whether you're using an easy press mat or if you're using your heat press you'll need to put butcher paper down because some of the design might bleed and you don't want to get it on your surface so here's our shirt you can bunch it up whatever you weigh. Like I've seen people like just kind of do this or whatever. For me personally, I take the center and I start to swirl it like as if I was doing a traditional tie-dye shirt. And then I kind of just bunch the edges in around it and then kind of press it down and then, you know, just make it how I want it. Um, and I'm gonna take my paper design and I'm gonna put it, since mine has a pattern, I want, you need to make sure that you're putting the pattern the right way, like you wouldn't want the rainbows upside down, unless you do, that's fine. Um, so turn it, and since some of it's sticking out on the side, I'm just gonna like tuck it in a little bit, just so I can try to get, um, the design on there you can tape it down I didn't find that that was necessary you're gonna need a second piece of butcher paper and you're gonna put this over the design and this will protect your heat press or easy press whatever you're using and then I have my easy press I'm gonna put it down it's set to 400 we'll do 50 since it's been that already but and then you do it for about 60 seconds and then remove it you're gonna remove your paper you're gonna remove your design be careful it's gonna be hot and then see how that's transferred onto the paper that's why you use the butcher paper because you don't want to get that on your press or your mat because it will not come off. And then I'm going to remove this paper because now it has ink on it. And you're going to need new butcher paper. So we're going to put this down. Um, before you place your design, you're going to want to make sure that your shirt has cooled down a little bit. You don't want to place it on your shirt while 
your shirt is hot because the design could end up ghosting and you don't want that. So just let your shirt cool down for like a minute or two. And while it's cooling down, you can get your design ready, get your tape in and whatever. So you're going to just put some tape on the top and the bottom of your shirt. And then put it on your shirt where you want it. Here, press it down. Other piece of butcher paper because we don't want that to, we don't want the ink from the shirt to transfer. And then we're gonna do this again. And then once it's done, you're gonna remove it. And there is our finished shirt. And you can see like the polka dots, part of the rainbow. Pretty cool. And that's it. You're all done.